Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'll provide a review of McDonald's stock and what I personally look for when evaluating potential stock purchases. This is going to be a new series on the channel where I intend to create a number of concise snapshot type stock review videos. My own personal goal is to create a dividend portfolio that provides me with passive income. I think a lot of people get a bit too obsessed with the numbers behind their stock purchases. I do look at the numbers, but for me, stock analysis for my goals comes down to two points. Does the company have a history of paying reliable and growing dividends? And can the company continue to make profits and therefore pay dividends for decades to come? McDonald's is the world's leading fast food retailer, serving 69 million customers daily, over 39,000 locations, in over 120 countries. They possess an unbelievably strong brand presence, and the Golden Arches logo is instantly recognisable all over the world. 93% of the restaurants worldwide are franchised. This means that the restaurants are owned and operated by independent local business owners. The company owns all of the land on which the restaurants are situated, and earns a significant portion of its revenue from rental payments from franchisees. Alongside that, nearly all of the resources that a franchisee needs to run their restaurant is purchased from McDonald's. This is where the main bulk of the revenue for the company is generated. The effect this has is that a large portion of the fees that a franchisee pays McDonald's are actually fixed, rather than based on sales. Let's now take a look through the numbers that I find useful when I'm evaluating stocks. So McDonald's has a current dividend yield of 2.45% and last year's dividend yield averaged at 2.37%. So it's a positive sign for dividend investors that the yield has increased. McDonald's have increased their dividend consecutively for 43 years, which makes them a dividend aristocrat and they're well on their way to one day becoming a dividend king, if they can manage another seven years of increases. Over the past five years, the average dividend per share growth rate was 7.4% per year, and during the past 10 years, the average dividends per share growth rate was 8% per year. So although the growth may have slowed down a little bit, it's still a very attractive statistic for dividend investors. The payout ratio is currently 76.34%. This just shows the proportion of earnings a company pays shareholders in dividends and is expressed as a percentage of the company's total earnings. With payout ratios, obviously the lower the percentage, the better. And I tend to consider around 80% as being quite a high ratio. However, if we look at the 10-year history of McDonald's payout ratio, we can see that this is usually much lower. The COVID pandemic in 2020 has skewed these figures somewhat, as the average prior to 2020 was 58.3%. The market cap of McDonald's is $158 billion, which puts it 53rd in the largest American companies by market cap. I do like these large blue chip companies in my dividend portfolio, as they tend to be mature, stable organisations, and they just feel safer to me than smaller cap companies or new startups. McDonald's has a share price of $212.40, which puts it in the top end of the 52-week price range. The 52-week low price of $124.23 happened in March 2020, and it has seen a very good recovery since then. The current price does seem to be quite stable when you compare it to the 50-week average of $213.03 and the 200-day average of $209.98. So now let's look at the quarterly dividend history of the company over the last 10 years. The graph shows a clear upward trend and what I like is that there was even an increase during the turmoil of 2020. I think this shows McDonald's to be very resilient to the business and also demonstrates their commitment towards dividends for their shareholders. 
During the past 10 year period, the first annual pavement was $2.20 in 2010, compared to $5.20 last year. Businesses that can grow their dividends at a decent rate and maintain a stable payout can generate substantial wealth for shareholders over the long term. Now let's have a look at the chart showing McDonald's' revenue, cash flow and net income. It's all very well looking at dividend history, but we also need to look at the company's earning potential and trends, as the revenue and profits of the company will drive future dividend payments. It is slightly worrying to see a clear decline in revenue for McDonald's over the last five years, but what we can see is a clear upward trend in cash flow over the last couple of years, before Covid hit in 2020. This makes me confident that although revenues might be declining, McDonald's are using that revenue more efficiently, and are actually making more cash than they did with higher revenues previously. So what is my opinion on McDonald's? For me, McDonald's is one of those companies that I can say with pretty much near certainty that won't be going anywhere anytime soon. The brand name, customer loyalty and presence all over the world makes it a real powerhouse, not just in the restaurant world, but in the wider business world. I currently hold eight shares of McDonald's. They are my largest holding by market value in my portfolio and are one of my favourite buy and hold stocks that I don't ever have to worry about. In conclusion, I personally believe that McDonald's is poised for a strong growth in 2021. The company is still generating sales through delivery and drive throughs even where customers can't actually be inside restaurants. As the pandemic hopefully comes to a close and diners begin to enter the restaurants again, I feel that investors should benefit from the potentially outsized revenue growth. Additionally, McDonald's does a great job of consistently adding new menu items to attract customers, and I like the way that they offer specific menu items for each market based on local consumer preferences. For example, they offer more vegetarian items in India, where a high percentage of the population don't consume meat. It's this type of thinking that makes me confident of the long-term prospects of my McDonald's investments, which I will continue adding to in the long term. Just to reiterate, this isn't investment advice and you should always do your own research and due diligence. I hope that you've enjoyed the first video in my stock review series. If you have, uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to make sure that you don't miss any future videos. Also, let me know what stocks you'd like me to review in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.